I've participated in every Kentucky Maple Day since the Forestry Department has started uh, the first year. Didn't know what to expect, how many people would show up. The first year I had approximately 65 people where I live show up. Weather's supposed to be good tomorrow, so I hope to have a good turnout. You know, we grow the red raspberries and I grow the tame blackberries. And I was looking to uh, get into something else. I was at a guy's house one day, he had a pan out there, steam coming up. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm making maple syrup. I said, you can't make maple syrup in Kentucky. He said, you just watch me. So in the uh, first year I had about 30 taps and uh, cook it in a round pot. It's kind of grew from there. People have the misconception of uh, maple syrup coming from the north, northeast, especially Canada. You know, I thought, well, heck, why can't we make it in Kentucky? The window of opportunity in this area typically is the 1st of January to the end of February. Sometimes you can go to the first week of March. I just watch the buds on the uh, sugar maple trees. Uh, when the buds start to swell, that's when I quit. What I do, the people that have them, the uh, sugar maple trees, I give them a bottle of syrup uh, for letting me go on their property and get the tree sap. I sell everything that I make. I sell it. Uh, one year I tried to, I did make uh, maple candy, sold all that. Well, one year I made, uh, last year I made uh, maple cream. I love that, uh, but anyway, I sold out. What I always look at whenever I, whenever I bottle it, I'll run a couple bottles out and then I'll look at one and I'll hold it up in front of the light, see how clear it is, make sure my filter is doing what it's supposed to do. To me, that's pretty. Now, I may be, I may be crazy, I may be different. I would like to get an RO uh, that would uh, decrease my boiling time and that would make my operation more efficient. And I'm just glad that the forestry department does this because it highlights Kentucky and the maple syrup industry and I'm glad they do that. I hope they continue doing it. It helps me out a lot. Forestry is my main source of information about maple if I, or if I see something and I don't know if it's a tree that I don't recognize. I'll make a picture and send it to them. Oh yeah, this, this, this. So. Last year I was somewhere around 1,200 gallons of sap. This year I'm a little ahead of that. You know, I should be somewhere around 14, maybe 1,500 gallons of sap. And in this area, it usually runs about 40, 41 to 1, somewhere in that area, which is not bad. Maple syrup is the most organic product that you can get. There's nothing man-made about this. It's all natural.